Just as good here, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Selective Color Adjustment layer to boost and change the colors of the shadows in your picture. Now, you could just go to Image Adjustments and directly apply any adjustment layer to your layer, but that would make it so we couldn't go back and change our settings. That's why I go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and choose Selective Color. This way it's on a completely separate layer for us to do any type of blending or adjusting if we need to further. That's just a general Photoshop tip. Now once you open up this adjustment, depending on your version, you should get this settings box and you see cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And these two dots here are relative and absolute, along with a selection of basic colors to adjust. Now how this adjustment layer works is let's say we want to adjust the blues in our photo. Now we can turn those blues more black for example and you can see there's not much blues in this but they turned a little bit darker or less black they turned a little bit whiter. Now also you can adjust the settings to relative or absolute. Absolute is much more well absolute um, it literally takes every blue shade and turns it to the color and percentage color that you select. And to demonstrate that more effectively, let's go to white. And as you can see, if we're on absolute and I turn white all the way black, it takes all my whites and turns them black. But that's not the effect we want. Whereas if you go to relative, it takes more things into account and turns it blacker in relative to the pixels and colors around it. But for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use this to boost up your blacks and shadows to be a color and a little bit lighter to give your picture a film look. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the blacks a little bit. I'm going to stick with relative. And I'm going to increase the magenta about 10% and also the cyan, about 10%. So now I've turned my blacks into more of a darker blue instead, which is a nice looking color effect to add to your photographs. And on the opposite of end of this, to complement the blue, we can turn the whites a little bit yellower. So I'm going to turn the yellow up to about 20%. And a subtle effect there, but this is a great adjustment layer for doing lots of things, uh, adjusting shadows, or of course you could, let's say you had a red balloon, you could change the balloon color if you would select one of these colors and adjust it like so. But you don't want to use this tool for color adjustments like you would a uh, color balance because Photoshop has much better ways of doing that and different adjustment layers for doing that. This tool is better for just changing a few select colors and influencing a few colors in a way that you want. In this case, we influence the blacks a little bit and turn them up to give our picture a look inspired by film. So there's your before and after. Uh, play around with these settings and the selective color adjustment layer is a great tool to know. Hopefully you learned how to use it in this tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, check out these previous tutorials I've made. Also, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.